The next step is to add these access points to your default bridge. So you need to click on bridge and you're going to click the plus sign and then you're going to add the two APs to the bridge but you have to do them one at a time so we're going to add the guest AP first and we're going to add it to the default bridge so depends on what the name of your bridge is but you're going to add it to the, your default bridge click apply click OK and now we're going to add the second access point which is the kids access point click apply click OK so now if you go into uh, Windows or on your phone you should see both access points uh, being visible so now you can actually connect to each one of them or any one of them using the credentials that you have provided previously so that is how you go about configuring multiple SSIDs on your Microtik router. Uh, the, same, the same can be done if you have one of the Microtik access points. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe if you haven't. So when new videos are published, you will be notified about them. And remember to click the notification button. To get notified so that's it and thanks for watching